Today, we're going to rank every weapon in Survivor.io on a tier list from best to worst. Now, a bit of a disclaimer here. These are my opinions based off of testing and owning all of these weapons at a legendary grade for a very long time. So it's not like I'm guessing what the best weapon is. I've had a long time to think about this and test everything out. But if you have a different opinion, that's fine. Go ahead and put it in the comments below. Also, smash like and subscribe. Let's go. Starting off with the revolver, I do think that the revolver is a nice weapon. It can certainly pack a punch and it can cause a lot of damage. As you see at a legendary grade, minor explosion when enemy is hit. So in addition to causing a lot of single target damage, it can also cause AOE damage, but it's not the most effective weapon and you do have to aim it. So I'm going to stick it in the D tier for now. Next, we have the sword of disorder and the sword of disorder is an exceptional weapon. It's pretty good in chapters and it's great against bosses. It's really good in places like Ender's Echo and the Clan Expedition boss phase, but it has been kind of phased out with the introduction of the new SS Relic. As you see, it has certain skills. Shackle. Enemies slain by Sword of Disorder will have their souls shackled. The more souls shackled, the higher the skill damage. So when you kill enemies, you can essentially increase your skill damage. But when you get hit, this will dissipate. And in addition, it is compatible with a legend collectible, Human Genome Mapping. This thing can certainly increase your attack and your skill damage as well. I like the Sword of Disorder. I think it's a great weapon, but I'm going to stick it in the A tier. Next, we have the Light Chaser, and the Light Chaser is a great weapon. It's really good in early stages in the game. It can deflect things like bullets, and it's pretty fast. It can get you a lot of crits in a short amount of time. But for now, I'm going to stick it in the C tier. It does have some flaws, and it's not very good against bosses. Next, we have my favorite weapon in the game, the Shotgun. The Shotgun is a very strong weapon, and and once you evolve it into the Gatling gun, you can certainly cause a lot of damage very quickly. However, you do have to manually aim it, and it may not cause as much damage as other weapons, nor do things like deflect bullets like the Light Chaser can, so I'm going to stick the shotgun in the D tier. Next, we have Void Power, and the Void Power weapon is kind of like a cheat code in Survivor.io. It might be the best weapon to use in stages if you don't have trouble defeating bosses. What you get with the Void Power weapon is a black hole, and once to evolve it, you can get shields, which can protect you against taking damage. So if you stand inside the black holes, if you stand inside the shields, you can essentially avoid taking damage, and that's why I think it's kind of like a cheat code. However, it's not that great against bosses, so I'm going to stick it in the C tier, but I do like it more than the Light Chaser. Next, we have the Baseball Bat. What the Baseball Bat has going for it is that it can knock back enemies. It can also swing around your survivor in a circle, so it can knock back monsters who try to get in your space. I think it's a great weapon to use in stages, especially early on in the game, but I'm going to stick it in the D tier along with other normal weapons. Obviously, the Light Chaser and Void Power are going to get you further, but the knockback effect is exceptional. Mwah, chef's kiss. Next, we have the newest weapon in Survivor.io, an SS relic called Twin Lance Starforged Havoc. And man, this thing is absolutely nuts. It can certainly get you a lot of damage all over the game in Ender's Echo, in stages, and and in the clan expedition boss phase. In addition, it has multiple astral forge effects, one side for eternal and one side for void. If you unlock this, you can also get the weapon to start at three stars, making it easier to evolve. Twin Lance is the best weapon in Survivor.io. It certainly has to go in the S tier. It has knocked off the sword of disorder. I recommend everyone who plays this game to go out and get it, even if you're a free to play player. Next, we have the Kunai and the Kunai is a great DPS weapon. It's exceptional against single targets like elites and bosses. If you're a free to play player, it can certainly carry you throughout Ender's Echo. And if you struggle against bosses in stages, you might want to switch to the Kunai. I like the Kunai, but it's just not as strong as the Sword of Disorder. The Sword of Disorder can certainly boost you a lot more and get you a lot more damage than the Kunai. But in some places, they can be comparable, like in Ender's Echo. However, the Sword of Disorder is just better. The last weapon we have to rank is the katana. The katana is a very interesting weapon that can actually heal you when you hit an enemy. It's pretty good if you are using a build that has the broad waist guard in it because as you see at an excellent grade radiation pulses one time when healing and since the katana can heal you you can get a lot of radiation pulses going. I think the katana is a great weapon it's very fun but I'm going to stick it in the D tier. It's simply not as strong as the other weapons on the list. Here is the 
final Survivor.io weapon tier list. We have the new Twin Lance weapon in the S tier, followed by the Sword of the Sorter and the Kunai. Then we have the Light Chaser and Void Power weapon. In the D tier, we have the Revolver, Shotgun, Bat, and Katana. If you would rank anything differently, let's hear it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Smash like and subscribe. I'll see you later.